Welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be showing you how to insert a pigtail catheter into our mock patient here. The last video that we did shows you what's inside the pigtail catheter kit and what to expect. So if you need to reference that video, go back and watch it. Okay, so this model demonstrates the intercostal spaces as well as our target area, which is in the triangle of safety. We have already chloroprepped the patient, which comes in the kit. We've draped it, we've put on our sterile gloves, and we're ready to start the procedure. And remember, our kit comes with two different needles to anesthetize the patient. Our patient is in our semi-upright position for this procedure. You have a 25 gauge needle. And what we're gonna do here is just create a wheel, superficial into the space, and now that we've created a superficial wheel, we can move on to deeper anesthetize the procedure site and get into the pleural space. So now with our long, longer needle, we can start to inject and then we can slowly aspirate as we get closer to the pleural space and we're gonna get some bubbles. And as soon as we get bubbles, we know that we're in the pleural space. We can pull back a little bit and anesthetize the space between the pleural space and the intercostal muscles. So inject liberally into there. And you're also gonna know where you got the bubbles so you know how far you have to go with your introducer needle into the space. So we've anesthetized this area really well. Our patient is nice and numb and ready to move forward with the next step. Okay, so now I've got my introducer needle. This kit comes with two different sizes. This is the smaller size, this particular mock patient has a smaller body frame, so we don't need the very long needle. We're gonna to get to our pleural space just fine. And we know how far we have to go into the chest cavity to get to the pleural space based off of our lidocaine. So we've got our needle here. We know our estimated depth is gonna be around this far. And we're gonna introduce our introducer needle at a 90 degree angle into the skin. And we're slowly gonna aspirate. We've already numbed the area. And as soon as we get to the pleural space, we'll be able to aspirate air back. As soon as we do that, as soon as we do that, we're gonna grab a hold of the needle and then we're gonna have our guide wire and we're gonna shift our needle just to lab. And we're gonna put our guide wire into the chest cavity. Now that we're far enough in, we can retract our introducer needle. And now we're left with the guide wire. Next up, we have an 11 blade scalpel. We want to make a stab-like incision. You're going to invert the needle and we're gonna push it along the guide wire here. It might make a nice stab incision. Now that our stab incision is done, we've now created a hole big enough to dilate the area. We've grabbed our dilator, we're holding onto the guide wire, and now that we've got our dilator close to the skin, we want to push and twist the dilator. We're not going a full eight centimeters in, we're just going enough to create that pocket even bigger. And now that we've dilated our skin, we have already prepped this prior to that. So look in our last video on how we do that right off the bat and we're ready to introduce our pigtail. Notice the curve of the pigtail and how that's shaped. All right, so now we've pulled out the guide wire and it comes out this end here. We're gonna grab a hold of that, give us a little bit of slack, and then we are going to insert our pigtail cap. And we're gonna hold on to the guide wire here so we don't lose it inside the chest cavity. And we're gonna direct our pigtail anteriorly as we have a spontaneous pneumothorax. We're not doing this for a hemothorax or an empyema. So we've directed, we've directed towards the head and notice these black lines here. 
we're gonna insert to one of these black lines. The patient isn't very big, so we're just gonna insert to the first. That'll give us plenty of space. Then we're gonna pull out our guide wire. Pull out our obturator. And right now we should be getting air. If you look at this locking mechanism, this is a off button and the off button is pointing down towards this location. This location is free and open. So that air from the chest cavity is coming straight out of this location here. Next up in our kit, we have our connector tubing. We've got this white portion here and that just screws on to this portion. And it's right now it's open to air. We have this cone type end here in our kit. We have the connector, which is blue and blue is always towards the patient. So we can just take this off and then we connect our connector tubing here. And then this goes and connects to our Pluravac drainage system, which we don't have here. There are many different ways to secure a tube and we're gonna show you how to do that in this next video. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video where we show you how to secure the pigtail.